بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو پی ایچ پی این مائی ایس کیو ایل انوینٹری مینجمنٹ پورٹل دس از علی رضا ان دا پریویس لیکچر آئی ہیو ڈیمانسٹریٹڈ یو ہاؤ ٹو گیٹ اسٹارٹ ود دا بیسک ڈائریکٹری اسٹرکچر فار دا پروجیکٹ ان ٹو ڈیز لیکچر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو اباؤٹ ہاؤ ٹو سیٹ اپ یور ڈیٹا بیس اینڈ ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ ڈیٹا بیس اینڈ تھنگس دیٹ آر ریلیٹڈ ٹو دی ڈیٹا بیس آلسو سو لیٹس گیٹ ان ٹو دس اینڈ ہیو اے کوئک امپلیمنٹیشن آف ڈیٹا بیس کریشن ان ٹو ڈیز لیکچر لیٹس گو سو آل یو ہیو ٹو ڈو از ٹو اوپن یور لوکل ہوسٹ دیٹ آئی ہیو آلریڈی ڈن اینڈ دین یو ہیو ٹو رائٹ ہیئر پی ایچ پی مائی ایڈمن دیٹ از واٹ یو نیڈ وین یو آر ٹرائنگ ٹو کریٹ اے ویب اپلیکیشن سو دس از دا پورٹل ویئر یو کین ایکسیس یور Uh, database related stuff okay I hope it is clear so PHP my admin is utilized for MySQL related things and you can create and manage your relational databases in PHP my admin okay and you can see a message is appearing here that is a very important message that by default we are connected with a root password root uh, that is the default username with no password okay I will not recommend you to use the root with no password because uh, it is very uh, insecure way to create and connect your web application along with the database so what you have to do you have to create users uh, by clicking on the users account and you can create a user uh, with respect to the Uh, database so add user account and here we can give the username and then you can uh, specify the password so I'm specifying let's say a username and then a password uh, that uh, it said that it already exists so let's uh, add Ali and password okay so I have specified a password and then uh, you can if you wish to generate a random password you can specify the random password as well and database for the user account create a database with the same name so I don't want to create a database with the same name and what are the privileges that you wanted to specify to this user you can specify that as well so this user can do select insert update delete this user can do everything so you can specify check all okay and you can uh, further uh, make the restrictions that how many number of queries this user can execute in one hour and how many update queries and how many connection requests can this user can do and so on okay so these are some uh, basic settings that you, do, you that you have to specify and then click on the go button okay so he said that password isn't same okay let me edit again so i have specified the password here and now let's click on the go button okay so my user has been successfully created and I have specified the permissions and all the things okay that's what I wanted to do now uh, let's click on the SQL and create our first query that should be create create database and then the name of the database that is inventory DB inventory database so that's my database name if I zoom it you can now see it more clearly I hope it is clear so um, create database inventory DB that's it now let's execute this query by clicking on the go button uh, guys uh, for this project I am assuming that you should know uh, a little bit about PHP and a little bit about MySQL because when we are creating a project we should uh, know uh, these uh, technologies by default uh, if you don't know uh, how PHP is working and how MySQL is working so you can refer to my playlists uh, for, that I have created for PHP and MySQL okay so you'll find inside my YouTube channel so you can you can refer to that also uh, before creating before starting this project so I have created a database with the name inventory DB and you can see here I have created it now the next step is to create tables uh, right now because I am uh, in a recording mode and I am letting you know I am teaching you here directly so I am not going to uh, create separate diagrams and all the plannings uh, separately in order to save time I have already pla planned a little bit of things so that's are in my mind so but I do not recommend you to do uh, to directly create a website and directly create a database you have to first plan your database and then you have to specify uh, it inside your MySQL okay so let's uh, do this first of all the first plan of mine is to create a table that should be roles the users or the roles that are utilized in my uh, web application uh, that should be stored somewhere in the database so role underscore ID that should be integer it should be not null and it should be auto increment 
and um, it should be primary key as well then role underscore name that should be var chart variable character the length should be 30 not more than that if you wish to specify more you can and it should be unique because no uh, let's say if you are adding a role admin so no other admin can be added okay if you are adding a manager and no other manager can be added i am talking about with respect to roles okay uh, there should be unique roles inside the application so role id and role name and so on that's it so that's my first table that i'm going to create here so let's click go i have successfully created table roles okay now let's go back and and create another table that is create table and i'm specifying here users of my portal so who are going to use this let's say uh, the admin are going to be the user the uh, the manager will be the user or the the some other personnel uh, can be the users of the website okay customers are def separate these are the users uh, that will run or control this web application so uh, i'm creating a user table so user underscore id the actions that can be performed with the help of this okay you can use big int as well uh, if you have uh, so many users but that is uh, not required integer is more than enough uh, make sure when designing a database your data types should be uh, more uh, very specific to the uh, type of data that you are taking because uh, if you uh, opt wrong data type uh, for your column then what will happen ultimately your size of the database will expand in a exponential manner okay so be uh, very careful so integer and not null uh, and auto increment and then primary key that's the head of the keys uh, columns you can say searching is easy with this within the table so user underscore original name or you can say the first name the last name if you wish to specify that you can there are so many choices uh, when creating some something like this so variable character and 40 and not null name can be repetitive so i cannot make it unique okay uh, the the basic difference between the primary key and the unique key is that primary key can be one inside one table but unique key can be uh, multiple inside one table okay and one more difference between primary key and unique key is that primary key can be uh, cannot accept nulls but but unique key can will accept at least one null uh, uh, when when we are dealing with this okay and then the next null will be duplicated so that's the basic difference between the primary key and the foreign key so name and then email when we are dealing with web applications emails are necessary to to send notifications so not null and email should be unique so what will happen no one user can have uh, can, no other email will be registered for uh, the user uh, similar email cannot be added inside the application so that's what the integrity is email then phone number and it should be varchar 15 are more than enough and not null and that's it and then we have the after e, after phone we have to specify the i think i uh, this is enough but one thing this user belongs to which role uh, in the application so you have to specify a common column that is role id and that should be integer and that should be foreign key as well so foreign key and then we have to specify references and references then the table name where i'm going to pick it put it up so roles and then the column name that is role underscore id in that case so uh, foreign key i have specified and then i have specified the roles and then uh, it should not null foreign key references and then one thing that i have to specify on delete cascade on update cascade so what will happen when you try to delete a role all the users that belongs to that role will automatically delete it will be automatically deleted and uh, uh, when you try to update a role id then wherever the role id is placed let's say uh, admin role id is 1 and you have specified in user 1 so if you update it to uh, the admin id then the automatically uh, role id here in the user table will also be updated to 2 so that's what cascade means so that helps you a lot when you are dealing with uh, the user uh, when you are dealing with the database 
all right guys so you can see the errors are there that is why because uh, we have to satisfy the syntax of mysql this syntax belongs to the ms sql version that it belongs to microsoft so what happened what you can do you can come here uh, at the end and specify uh, foreign key then uh, the column name that you wanted to specify for foreign key that is u underscore role id and then references and with the help of references I am specifying or I am connecting my roles primary key with the foreign key in, uh, that, is, uh, that I have created here. Okay, So this is the syntax for creating foreign key uh, within the users table. Now why I have created a foreign key that is a question and maybe you do not understand why I have done this. So let me tell you about relationships in uh, MySQL. Uh, because this is an RDBMS that means relational database management system that means that uh, we have to specify the relationships and the relationships can be uh, found find find out with the help of the planning that you can that i have told you or that you do uh, before creating a database so uh, when we talk about users and the roles so first step of finding out the relationship is to map the cardinality so what is cardinality cardinality means um, the occurrence of one thing into another thing so let's take the one thing as roles and the other thing as users so uh, one user uh, or one role can be utilized for multiple users let's say there are five managers so ma manager is one role but the five separate employees are there so the, the cardinality we can say is one to many with respect to role and users but when we talk about users to role so multiple users can have one role so that was the case here so you can that is the case here so we can say that the cardinality bit, uh, with respect to the user to role can, uh, can be uh, many to one i hope it is clear to everyone so uh, whenever you see the table that contains many uh, cardinality here, there you add a foreign key simple as that our simple rule when the table cardinality between the two tables is one to many or many to one you see where is many uh, the table where should where the many is residing the, in this case we have users because many users can uh, belongs to one role so in this table we create another extra column that resembles to this column that we have created here uh, as a primary key column role id so our role id will be added because we should tell the database that this user belongs to this role and because we have already stored the role names so we, we uh, it is a wrong practice to add the role name again instead of adding the role name i have added the role id and then make that role id as a foreign key and how uh, how this foreign key will help me uh, let's say if i do not add this what will happen if i try to delete a role let's say i have deleted manager from the roles table then what happened to those data that uh, that uh, belongs to the manager or those users that are managers then that data will be uh, discarded or you can say that data will be of no use so what will happen with the help of foreign key my sql will automatically do this for you with the help of this cascade keyword so what will happen when you try to delete the role name uh, from the roles table automatically because it is related data or now these two tables are joined with the help of this foreign key so uh, what will happen uh, when you delete the role manager all the managers inside the user table will also be deleted that's one case but if you don't want to delete your data then you have to specify here no action then what will happen if somebody tries to delete managers and the data of the users are there that belongs to the manager role then the mysql will prompt you error that you cannot be you cannot delete uh, the user sorry you cannot delete the role until and unless you have managers inside the user table i hope you got my point so uh, that's what uh, this means okay so right now i am putting it as cascade that's it so let's try to execute this query what will happen um, click go you can see another table uh, is successfully created the users and the roles and you click open this and you can open the columns you can see here uh, these are my columns and these are the indexes where i have the primary key the unique key the foreign key these are the indexes that belongs i hope it is clear and indexes helps us to find and search and uh, retrieve the records very easily uh, without any hassle and in a quick manner i hope it is clear to everyone guys so this is what guys this is the starting of the project and i just now i have created two tables uh, then i'll speed up my uh, 
demonstration because that, that's the beginning of the database so that's why I have demonstrated you these relationships and all the stuff so hopefully you have learned how to create database and how to create tables uh, inside uh, MySQL and then we'll use uh, these tables uh, within our uh, PHP my uh, application also uh, via object oriented programming or with the help of object oriented programming so uh, that's all for today uh, do try it till this uh, lecture and we'll continue in the next lecture and try some new stuff with this application so uh, if you don't understand anything please do write me and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe the channel and do press the bell icon for uh, the latest lectures and you, uh, so that you cannot be uh, able to uh, miss any of the lectures that I'll be, up, I'll be uploading uh, in the next days so uh, stay tuned thank you so much take care Allah Hafiz